As early as two days after the alleged chemical weapons attack in Douma, Russian military police apparently filmed visiting the site where it happened. The Russian officer appears relaxed and secure enough to wander the streets. And yet a week later, the Russians and Syrians are still barring access to chemical weapons inspectors, saying the area is too dangerous to enter. The Prime Minister went as far as saying they're covering up an outrage. Mr Speaker, the Syrian regime has reportedly been attempting to conceal the evidence by searching evacuees from Douma to ensure samples are not being smuggled from this area. And a wider operation to conceal the facts of the attack is underway, supported by the Russians. The people who could verify once and for all what chemical weapons did this are being kept away from the alleged war crime scene. Scores were killed, hundreds injured in the deadly gas attack. At a meeting of the chemical weapons watchdog, the OPCW, in The Hague, America and Britain demanded immediate access to the site. To be very clear, the Director General of the OPCW said that the UN um, Department for Security had cleared the um, inspectors uh, to go to Douma, um, but he was also very clear that the Syrian regime and the Russians could not guarantee their security. Now, we are obviously keen to make sure that the inspectors uh, have every means that they can to carry out their job and carry out their investigation as soon as possible, and we see no reason why they should not be able to get to Douma. A week ago in the UN, Russia's ambassador promised the OPCW secure access to Douma. The Syrian authorities and troops will provide conditions to travel to the area of the alleged incident for them to familiarise themselves with the situation. No such guarantees on offer this week from Russia. The Syrians invited journalists to a hospital in Douma to listen to denials the gas attack ever happened, while Russia denies it's tampered with any evidence. Meanwhile, inspectors are sitting idle for three days now, just a few miles away, unable to begin their vital work. Dominic Waghorn, Sky News.